How to Amortize a Loan. An amortized loan is a loan that is repaid with equal periodic payments over its life. An example, a person gets a three-year $10,000 loan to be paid back in three equal payments at the end of each year. What is the size of the payment at an annual interest rate of 8%? Here's the formula, so the payment will equal the following. PV represents the present value, and that is the loan amount, the amount of money that the borrower gets today from the lender. R is the interest rate, and we're going to enter inter the interest rate as a decimal, so 8% is entered as 0 0.08. Uh, N here represents the number of periods, so this is just a three-year loan with three payments, so N is going to be three. And doing the math here, this person will make a payment of $3,880.34 at the end of each year for the next three years to pay back this $10,000 loan. In Excel, we can simply use the following formula. So in Excel, you can enter the following formula, the interest rate, the number of periods, and the loan amount, and it will give you the answer of what we found here. Let's move on to another example. A person gets a 30-year mortgage borrowing $200,000 at 3%. What are the monthly mortgage payments? So the first thing we need to do is convert this 3% to a monthly interest rate. So dividing this 3% by the number of months, we get the following. And then in terms of the number of periods, this is a 30-year mortgage, but you'll be making 12 payments a year for 30 years. So we'll have 360 periods. I'm going to use the same formula, but plugging in these values here, $200,000 is the present value, plugging in for the monthly interest rate, and plugging in for the number of periods this person would have a monthly mortgage payment of $843.21. In Excel, you could enter this information to get back the same answer. So in Excel, if you want, you could have Excel do the math here to calculate the monthly interest rate, the 0 0.03 divided by 12, comma, the number of periods, 30 times 12, or you could enter 360, it doesn't matter for Excel. And then the last value here is the, the amount borrowed, the loan amount. All right, let's do another example. A person can afford to pay $500 per month on a car and will not make a down payment. If the interest rate is 2% on a six-year car loan, what is the most expensive car that the person can afford to purchase? So here is our monthly interest rate. The number of periods is just going to be 12 payments a year times 6 years, or 72. And here's our formula, uh, but this time we want to solve for the present value. We know, what the, we're going to, we know what the payment is. We're trying to solve for the present value. What is the most that this person can borrow if they want to have a $500 payment? So solving for the present value, you have this formula right here. And just plugging all the information we have into that formula, the interest rate, the number of periods, and then the payment here is 500. This person could afford to borrow almost $34,000. Now, if this person were to make a down payment, then we'd just add this to this uh, amount. So if the person can afford to make a $5,000 down payment, uh, they could then be able to afford a $38,000 vehicle, almost $39,000 vehicle. In Excel, we can use this convenient formula where we're solving for the present value. Here we have the monthly interest rate, the number of periods, and the monthly car payment. All right, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.